Hi everybody, Dr. Tanner again. I'm going to go over some of the basic things that I look for when I'm looking at your reference lists, okay? So first thing we want to do is we want to format this so it looks like a reference list. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to select everything here, and we are going to add our hanging indent because that's required. Go here and choose hanging indent. Say OK. All right. Now, that should take care of it. You'll notice that this one, this unknown reference right here, did not uh, follow the constructs of a hanging indent. So, if anybody could tell me why, raise your hand. I can't see you. But if you picked out the hard return right there that we need to delete, now you'll see that it's a hanging indent. Okay, so don't hit enter at the end of your lines. Okay, so then you want to make this bold and center like that. Perfect. Okay, and then you want to start making sure that your uh, references are in ABC order. So it looks like Sung is out of order here. So we're going to cut that. And I'm going to use Control X to cut it. And I'm going to go down here and use control V or paste, okay? And that you can find those tools up here in the edit menu, cut and paste, okay? All right, GD, this one says unknown, but I think, it's, I think there's a problem. If there is no author, then you are instructed to use um, the website Home Depot as your author. Okay, while we're at the Home Depot, Let's check out this act. Uh, that's the title of the article that's on the website. So because that's the title of an article, it has to be italicized. Okay, it needs a period after it. And then the Home Depot is the website. And you have to have a link for every website. All right, that one's done right. D-H. Ooh, this is totally not right because it needs an author. So what I like to do here is I like to copy this information. Let's paste that in Google Scholar, and then we'll search for that article, cite that article using APA formatting. We'll copy that, and we're going to paste that, match our destination formatting. We have to hit enter to put sung underneath. Do you see how this? there's this great big long number here? That is not a page number. For um, web journals, this is an article number. The only other thing that you're missing on this journal entry is the DOI. So we can go back. And here is your DOI. Right click, copy link address. And right here, we are going to paste our link address. You'll notice the link isn't active until I hit enter. Now the link is active. So all I need to do is delete that blank line ahead of it. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, Edgeford and Sun goes here, copied and pasted it. Uh, green goes after and before H for Home Depot. Okay, now the, the other thing I check is I make sure that um, books, so we have to make this italic, and then I just capitalize the first word and any proper nouns. Remember, if you have a colon, then you have to capitalize the first letter following the colon. All right, you don't need the word copyright. You just need McGraw-Hill Education, and you don't need the ISBN. Okay, that's a book. Um, this is an article. Do you see what I see? Okay, and it's same thing, sentence case. This is the journal title. The journal volume, there is no issue number. The impact of cognitive complexity. So we're checking again here, ch checking caps. And only the first letter should be capitalized. Um, the journal and the volume number are italicized. The issue number is not. The link is active. This is a website. Article name is italicized. The website itself is not. This article here by Sung et al. And that looks good as well. Okay, this video went a little bit longer than I expected it to. Um, I hope you enjoyed it.